in this chapter let's uh, focus on multiple regression wherein i look at more than one independent variable dependent variable is still one only but independent variables could be more than one so in this example if i assume that profits as well as sales both of them i take as independent variables to predict the share price i am taking the profits as well as the sales of the company to predict the share price let's see what would be the result of this variable this is what i consider as a typical multiple regression problem the word multiple is coming from multiple independent variable so because i am taking both c column as well as d column as independent variable the multiple regression is coming up from that concept all right now i cannot use those formulas like slope and intercept which i have used in simple regression for a multiple regression problem but what would be the typical form of an equation of a multiple regression when i when we have looked at simple regression we said that the equation form is y equal to ax plus b but in case of multiple regression we look at the form as y equal to ax1 plus bx2 plus c because we have two independent variables x1 and x2 we write it as y equal to ax1 plus bx2 plus c same way a b and c are directly found out by our system a and b are called as partial slope coefficients because why the word partial because we are not we are looking at the values together not in isolation so that is where uh, we cannot use uh, slope coefficient we call them as partial slope coefficient and for us because we use a tool like excel or any other statistical analysis tools a and b and c are something that the system can directly predict here also i can use the formula called dnest which we have used in case of simple regression to predict the values of a b and c in order to obtain the values of a b and c i can use the leanest function linear estimator again so in this case what i'll simply do is i'll select these three because i need the values of three of them i select these three cells then i say equal to leanest then i have my known y's which i would be entering from b2 to b33 those are my known y's comma known x's here the catch is x's are there in two columns so you have to make sure that uh, all your x's are together when you are entering in excel okay so these are my two x's and as i said we should not enter enter we should not press enter whenever we are using an array formula leanest is one of those very few array formulas that are present in excel so when i am using leanest i am actually predicting three values as a package a b and c which are uh, the intercept as well as the two partial slope coefficient i am trying to predict them as a package so from that standpoint i should not uh, press a simple enter when i press an enter it is applicable only to a single cell but by pressing control shift and enter it is applicable the formula is applicable to the entire array control shift enter 
so these are the values which I am getting. Correct? These are the values which I am getting. So in this case, this is my intercept. Then the, the values we write in the reverse order. Because we have given C and D here, we write C and D in the reverse order. So here, this is the coefficient with respect to profits and this is the coefficient with respect to sales. Now, if I use this equation for predicting purpose for the next, uh, for the next quarter, because uh, for, for whatever Jan 13, I'm having the profits as well as the sales, but I don't have the share price. So I should be able to predict the share price using the equation. So I'll call it as predicted share price. I'll use predicted share price and use my equation. Enters as AX1. Now here if I'm saying X1 is profits, A times x1 plus b 0 0.04 times the sales plus c which is the intercept this tell this is predicting that the share price is around 1121 for the same data when i have used the earlier mechanism it was predicting 993 but I am using this mechanism, it is predicting 1121. When I am taking two variables together, the predicted value is coming out to 1121. When I am taking only one value for predicting purpose, it is coming out to 993. Now, which of them is better? Those things we will uh, touch upon uh, slightly in the later chapters. But here what we are saying is, if I am considering two variables, Thinking that they are two independent and they are the ones which are uh, determining the value of the dependent variable, I can use this equation for a better forecasting purpose. So I need to consider as many uh, variables as possible which I think are relevant for predicting the dependent variable. Use the multiple regression concept and try to execute uh, the formula. Now on the same lines, I could have used the trend formula to simply forecast this value of 1121 instead of uh, using the leanest, get the coefficients, then apply it into the formula and then predict. Instead of doing that, I could have simply gone with the trend formula where the inputs are known y's. These are my known y's comma known x's known x's are these two columns all right and new x new x's for me is only this column i mean only one new row is uh, there for which i have to predict but in some cases using this data i may have to predict for 20 more days or 20 more five more quarters four more quarters in that case it's better uh, to select all those four or five uh, zeros also as new access and I can simply close the bracket but, and here it hardly here because two values need to be predicted or it's only one value that needs to be predicted even if I press enter or control shift enter it hardly matters so I'm pressing an enter which is also giving me my 1121.3 which has been obtained through this other route also. So this way, while using multiple regression, the same prediction is coming to 1121, whereas using a simple regression earlier, we got the prediction to be around 993. So which one is better? How do I use which equation? We'll slightly uh, put them on uh, to our uh, next chapters. Next uh, after a couple of chapters, we would be taking that up. But for the time being, I want uh, you to have a good understanding on how to use the formulas relating to simple regression as well as the multiple regression, the usage of leanness, trend kind of formulas, which will help us in doing our uh, 
predicting the dependent variables more and more comfortably. Yeah, using these formulas, you can try taking up any kind of data sets and do the practicing on that. Any further queries, you can please get in touch with me. Now, I will take walk you through how do I use the regression tool. Excel actually has packaged uh, various statistical analysis tools. Now, instead of using these formulas, how can I use that regression analysis tool to actually uh, derive some of the important uh, uh, coefficient as well as how do I test the effectiveness of the model using that regression tool. So it will, uh, it will actually cover the calculation of these formulas as well as even testing the effectiveness of each of the models. So that forms a very important uh, tool as far as uh, predictive analytics is concerned because it helps us in predicting the independent uh, uh, dependent uh, variables using either simple regression or multiple regression and testing which one is more effective compared to the other. So we'll try to use that process. But yeah, I hope you are comfortable with uh, the difference between simple regression and multiple when you will use each. Of course, you have to be, you have to appreciate the fact that these uh, concepts are again more and more in-depth in nature. But what we are taking up is from a business application standpoint, if I use these kind of formulas and tools, how will I be able to predict my dependent variable from independent? So it's only the application aspect which we are talking of in this uh, session, not the deriving or not the formulas aspects of regressions and all. All right, let's move on to our next chapter.